Today, we celebrate St. Magdalene of Canossa. Wealth and privilege did nothing to prevent today's saint from following her calling to serve Christ and the poor, nor did the protests of her relatives concern that such work was beneath her. Born in northern Italy in 1774, Magdalene knew her mind and spoke it. At age 15, she announced she wished to become a nun. After trying out her vocation with the cloistered Carmelites, she realized her desire was to serve the needy without restriction. For years, she worked among the poor and the sick in hospitals and in their homes and also among delinquent and abandoned girls. In her mid-twenties, Magdalene began offering lodging to poor girls in her own home. In time, she opened a school which offered practical training and religious instruction. As other women joined her in the work, the new congregation of the Canosian Daughters of Charity, or Canosian Sisters, emerged. Over time, houses were opened throughout Italy. Members of the new religious congregation focused on the educational and spiritual needs of women. Magdalene also founded a smaller congregation for priests and brothers. Both groups continue to this day. St. Magdalene died in 1835, and Pope John Paul II, St. John Paul II, canonized her in 1988. St. Magdalene, Canosa.